ஹலோ எவ்ரிவான் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை சேனல் டெய்லி ஏப்ரன் டுடே ஐம் கொனா ஷேர் அ கேக் ரெசிபி அ சிம்பிள் பர்த்டே கேக் ரெசிபி வித் அனீ அனீசி எக்லெஸ் பைனாப்பிள் கேக் வித் க்ரீம் சீஸ் ஃப்ராஸ்டிங் begin with preheating the oven uh, preheat the oven at about 180 degrees celsius for uh, 10 to 20 minutes and let's prepare the cake batter to prepare the batter add half cup oil am you i'm using here vegetable oil flavorless and to that add 1 cup granulated white sugar and whisk very well until the about add 300 g of yogurt and whisk very well and combine it uh if you want to use eggs at this point of time you can add three medium size egg instead of yogurt and uh, then add one teaspoon vanilla essence or paste mix combine very well using an electric whisk or a hand whisk 150 grams before and uh, now add added 150 grams of yogurt again so total 300 grams of uh, yogurt so once it's combined well keep it keep it aside and let's mix all the dry ingredients for dry ingredients uh, let's take to a bowl i'm taking 2 and 1/2 cups of maida or all purpose flour to that add 1 tablespoon baking powder combine those well and let's slowly add this uh, dry ingredients to the wet ingredient so slowly combine it and uh, mix it well so first i'm using just a spatula to mix it well and then i'm going to use an electric mixer or uh, and it very well so i'm using an electric whisk to combine the flour so this is a simple sponge cake recipe and uh, i'm adding 2 to 3 tablespoons of uh, milk to adjust the consistency and and the batter is ready so just so pour the prepared uh, cake batter to a cake pan or a tin uh, lined with butter paper or greased with butter or oil and let's bake it for 20 to 30 minutes until the cake is cooked very well so by that time let's prepare the frosting for frosting i'm using here cream cheese that is the mascarpone cream cheese uh 250 grams and uh Two tablespoon, which was left over from another recipe, and adding half teaspoon of vanilla essence, and uh, combining it very well, and using a electric whisk, I'm just mixing the mascarpone cheese, and uh, I felt it was a small vessel. Uh, so i am transferring it to another bowl and whisking it continuously until i get a smooth and silky consistency so once it's done this is the texture what i'm looking for and then add sugar that is 1/4 cup of sugar and combine it very well once the sugar is dissolved and uh, the mascarpone cheese had as a silky uh, smooth texture keep it aside and we are going to beat uh, the whipping cream so i'm using here 200 g of whipping cream i'm going to beat it until we get a stiff peak 
and also i'm adding sugar half one fourth cup of sugar and whisking it very well get a stiff peak i always use this uh, sanish stiff i don't know what is it called in english and this is available in all the grocery local grocery markets in germany so i'm combine once it has gotten that texture which are what i'm looking for uh i'm combining it slowly with the uh, cream cheese mixture so this will be our frosting for the cake so we need uh, that thick consistency so i'm looking for this tight i'm going to refrigerate this frosting until the cake is done and it's it has cooled down so after 30 to 40 minutes the cake is baked completely so i poked a small toothpick and checked whether it's coming out clean so it's done completely so hand that's cooled down so i'm removing it to a plate and removing the butter paper So I'm using a cake stand to decorate it. That's easy for me. So now uh, I'm going to remove those top portion, which is actually the hard part, uh, so that when I layer the cake, uh, I'll get a, a level surface. And if you do so, it will look good, and also uh, you won't taste that hard part when you have the layering. And I just need to remove only the a uh, top top portion uh to get the level not that completely i'm not removing completely only just that top portion so you can do either you can remove the whole uh, top layer and use it for some crumbled cake or something or uh, just you remove only those portion like i'm doing here part and i'm going to cut this cake into half so this is the texture so it's completely cooked and it's soft and spongy so now let's start layering the cake so first little bit cream frosting so that the cake will not move then i'm just soaking it with uh, brushing it with a uh, pineapple juice just to get that pine pineapple flavor and um, then i'm going to add that cream cheese frosting spread it evenly you can add how much or you want so i'm i took like 3 to 4 tablespoon of cream cheese and i'm going to add this chopped pineapple so these are canned ones so we need just a uh, 3 to 4 tablespoon of chopped pineapple so i'm adding that to the second layer and layering with the second the bottom part of the cake so that i can so that i can spread the cream cheese evenly so always take the bottom layer to the top when you when you layer the cake and uh, spread the a, any kind of frosting this is the consistency what i was looking for uh, for the cream cheese frosting so that it will hold so i'm using a spatula to e spread the cream cheese evenly you can decorate however you like so i'm just doing a basic decoration so just covering uh, the whole cake with the cream cheese frosting so we have one layer in the middle one layer of cream cheese frosting and pineapple and then covering the whole cake with the cream cheese frosting that's done and now i'm going to decorate it with some edible pearls so just a simple decoration this cake i prepared for uh, my friends 
kid's birthday so it was his first birthday so just a simple birthday cake so i'm just decorating the using those pearls on top of the cake just decorating the cake with this uh, edible pearls you can do any kind of decoration however you like so this is just a simple easy and simple method to decorate the cake i'm just decorating with a happy birthday and a simple candle just one candle it was his first birthday so just one single candle so our cake is almost done so i hope uh, you all enjoyed the video and do try out this recipe it's easy and uh, it's so delicious so simple and you can use this vanilla uh, sponge cake for any other recipe also all enjoyed the recipe do try it this out and uh, let me know thank you for watching see you all with another recipe video or another vlog thank you bye bye